Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back again with another video, and this time it's GG Jibriel XD with 802 rating versus Heavy Feather with also 802 rating. So, it's not going to be a high rated DB video, but let's hop right in. We're going to see Jibriel win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, so he's going to get to the side. Both on 40, gotta love to see it. He's going to go first. Opening hand is Datascape Lolo, uh, Datascape Nyan. Dad Escape Capital. This card's really cool. The fourth effect of it, I've never seen be used. Uh, I don't think the deck really is going to ever use that effect, but it's a really cool effect. And then uh, CC. Um, this card isn't that great. It adds during the end phase. This one's a lot better. This one, uh, this one is like the Omega. Uh, this one's also like, eh. The, the deck all together is really cool. They work really well together. Uh, then there's Nib, so he opened up one high impact hand trap, even though he's going first, it's good to see it, because if he was going second, you would need one. Then he has Ram Ram, Cosmic, Mystic Mind, Nib, and Whiptail. Um, this is really good at going second, obviously, like he has Nib, Mystic Mind, and Cosmic. Cosmic's really good versus this deck, because of the trap card. So he's going to activate Capital. And uses it straight from deck. Uh, this card's really good versus Zoo because it can just pop the normal summon. And then activate Shishi. And that's going to target this. And then send something that isn't a trap. And then the Spelling Grave is really good because you can banish it to add. And then send a card from hand to grave. And then he added the like Rota of the deck. Like when you summon it, you get to add. He's going to use that, uh, send the spell, and then he's going to add Lin Lin with it. And then he's going to use Princess and Grave to summon itself out. And then make Stardust Charge, that's going to let him draw one. Draws Nyan. And then Lin Lin Effect, he's going to use it on a monster, sending a trap. And then go in the Croc, that's going to let him draw. He's going to use Princess number two to put back. And then he's going to get the draw off Croc, draws Lin Lin. Uh, he's going to use the trap to up Lin Lin's level by three. So that way he can go in the VFD with them. And then end domain, he's going to get hit with Nib. Um, he could have chained Nib effect if he wanted to, to try to stop like more hand traps. Uh, he's going to use low, low effect on the trap, sending princess, summon itself out, and then this lets you summon back one from the grave, so he's going to summon Shishi back, and then goes into Dad Escape Fox. Uh, I call this card Zanzan. I don't know if that's how you say it. Uh, this card's like a macrocosmos, and it's really good to make VFD with this card because it can summon itself back later on. So, uh, end phase... He's going to get a Shishi effect, and that's going to let him add from the graveyard at end phase. And then pass turn. Honestly, I thought this card added from deck until this exact second. Um, this is like my fifth time seeing this deck like actually be played. So my commentary on it may not be the best, but I'm learning, and I'll definitely improve on it. And then he draws Imperm. I'm good with Zoo, though, so... That's, a, that's one thing. I'm good on this side of the map, but not this side. Uh, summon Hammer Kong, Summon Borbo. Battle phase, attack directly for 400. The Ram Ram underneath it will be really good versus this too because Ram Ram's effect can protect. And then he's probably going to make Zeus. That's why he's just attacking directly. And then Nib attack. He's going to use the trap on Nib. Um, he's going to chain Cosmic on it. And then that goes. I'm kind of surprised he didn't do it on Ram Ram Summon. Just because the deck doesn't play that many extenders. Uh, make Tiger Mortar. Make Zeus. Set Imperm Pass. He's going to drop Nib. And then pass his turn. Draws Ash. He's going to use the spell effect in Grave to add and then send. Uh, he's going to normal summon Nan Nan. 
or Nyan. And then uh, activate Rui effect. He's going to send the spell. And then he's going to get to add the trap card and summon this out. And then he's going to activate Lolo effect to send capital. And then uh, he's going to get to bring this out from Grave and Defense. This archetype is really cool. I have to admit that. Gets a lot of it free. A lot of free advantage. Uh, make Coral. Uh, princess effect. Put back the trap. And then Coral effect. You're to Ash to pop Imperm. He's going to chain it on Coral. And then goes in. Oh, goes in the Zulkin. Okay, I haven't seen that yet in the deck. He's going to get Coral to draw Imperm. Set it. And then Zulkin effect. Bring out Crystal Wing. And then Zanzan bring itself back out from the grave by banishing two. Crystal Wing attack. And then 3k. 28. And he's going to use this effect uh, when he attacks to... Oh, it returns a monster to grave. And he returned a trap. So he messed up a little bit there. But again, like the deck's new. People don't know it perfectly yet. Um, he's going to set gate, pass turn, draw cosmic. That's a... Such a good draw. That's like the perfect draw. Activate Mystic Mine. Normal Summon Whiptail. He's going to activate the trap. Target Whiptail. Chain Cosmic on the trap. And now he can light the board because of uh, Zeus. He's going to Summon Hammer Kong. Chaka 9. Borbo. Battle Phase. Attack for 12. And then make Tiger Mortar. And then Dryden. And then Zeus. So many materials. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can use it three times. He's going to activate it. Chain Imperm. He's probably just going to chain it again. Yeah, and then just wipe everything. This card is not once per turn. Like, the crazy effect isn't once per turn. But the, like, bad effects are once per turn, I guess. I mean, this card is just a really good card. Draws Ash. Pass turn. Draw Ogre. Uh, battle phase, tag for 3k. Pass turn, draw desires. That's a good draw. Normal summon Ash. He's going to use princess effect. Since the level 3 was normal or special summoned. Uh, Zeus effect to wipe the board. And then princess effect. He's going to get the shuffle back. He's thinking he's going to use the gate effect. So it's going to let him add Lolo. And then get rid of Desires, and then he's going to Zan bring itself out by banishing two. And then Lolo summon itself by getting rid of Gate. And then that's going to bring out Lin Lin. He's going to overlay those into Fing Fing. He's going to use the effect. He's going to target Zeus, and then he's just going to admit defeat. So now moving on into game two, we're going to see Zoo go first. Opening hands is Pinker Tops, Capital, Gate. Or I guess I can't call them both Gate because... Okay, so this is uh, Quing Long. And then this is Gate. Alright, so I'll call this Gate because this is Shuki. No, no, Alright, so... We got Capital, Quing Long, Zhuki, and then Shishi. He's got some weird names. And then he's got Whiptail, Book of Moon, Rat, Tanky, Ash. Uh, so his hand is decent. It's not like crazy. Normal Summon Rat effect. That plays in the Gamma really hard. Uh, like if you get hit with Gamma here, it's just game instantly. Sun Combo. Activate Tanky, add Ram Ram. And then Hammer Kong. He's just going to summon a whole bunch to turn Combo on. But he's playing uh, around Nib. Set book, pass the turn, draw Harpy's Feather Duster. He's going to use it, wipe the back row, summon Pankratops. This is a really good hand. You just wipe the board with those two cards. Then activate Capital. He's going to put Gate in the Spawn Trap Zone. Then activate Shishi. Then send the Quing Long. Activate Quing Long effect. He's going to Ash that. And then activate Quing Long on board. Uh, he's going to use the effect Banish from Grave. I wonder why he did that. 
Um, it was just to banish this out of grave. Wonder if, oh, because he needed two banished. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. You need two banished for the trap. Draws Whiptail. Normal Summon Ram Ram. Make Hammer Kong. Make Chalk and Nine. He keeps asking, okay. Like, uh, but he knows, Jibreel knows he's not going to use uh, Zhuki on this. Because there's Ram Ram under it. Yeah, you see, he says, I know what Ram does. A lot of people don't know what Ram does. Make Tiger Mortar, Tiger Mortar effect. He's going to chain combo. And then he's going to put back five. And then draw Imperm. And then the card he targeted with Tiger Mortar is at a graveyard now, so obviously he doesn't get attached. Summon Dryden, Dryden, pop the trap. He's going to chain the trap. Put back the Hammer Kong. Or send the Hammer Kong by putting back two. And then summon Borbo. Battle phase, tech for 16. And then main phase 2, summon out Zeus. Set Imperm. Yeah, he's going to set it in the zone. That's a lot better. Passes, draws Lightning Storm. He's going to use Klinglong effect. Target Zeus, and he's going to chain Imperm. And he's going to admit defeat because he still would have two Zeus effects. And that's really hard to out. It's like Dryden, but 10 times more crazy. And now we're going to see Datascape go first, game three. Opening hand is Ruru, or Rui Rui, uh, Quinglong, e Telly, Capital, and then Lin Lin. Um, so this is a pretty good hand, for sure. This deck seems really consistent. Because if you just open, like... Capital, any monster combo, any two monsters combo. This is, so this is uh, this is definitely better than the uh, I forget what other deck people were trying to compare this to. Oh, the UA deck. I think this deck's better. And then he has Ram Ram, Living Fossil, Rat, Whiptail, Lightning Storm. This has a lot of zoos in it again. Um, you really only want to open two. You want one for that turn and one for a follow up because you don't have Broadbow anymore. It's going to activate capital, put gate in the spawn trap zone, then use Lin Lin. Um, so he's going to send the spell, and then he gets to send an extra one because that's what this one does. It sends one, and then sends one. Um, he's going to use Quinglong effect in the grave to add Lolo, and then get rid of a Quinglong. He's going to activate Rui effect on the trap. So he's going to get to send the spell, and then add, and then summon himself out. And then activate Shishi effect, target the monster, send the trap. And then he's going to get Princess to summon itself out. Goes in the start as Charge Warrior, get a free draw. Ooh, and it draws Desires. You'll love to see it. Summon Croc. He's going to get Princess Chainlink 2, Croc 1. And then, ooh, the free draws, they're so good. The Nib and Desires, holy. Uses Desires. Banish 10, draws, holy draws. You got some good free draws this game. Um, We saw a Book of Moon on both sides this match. Uh, that, that's kind of interesting. Um, Whoa, Psy Impulse. Tribute 1, Psychic Monastery, Eternal Cards. In your opponent's hands to the deck, then they draw three. Whole oh, what what kind of card is this? I've never seen this card. I never really played psychics. I played them in a tag tournament once. This card this card seems really cool though. Um, then he's gonna use the trap to up Lin Lin by three, going to VFD, and then. End phase, he's going to get the add off the Shishi, draws Ram Ram. There's like Shishi, Ram Ram. Weird names. Um, Four zoos in hand. That's horrible. Again, you pretty much just want two. He's going to Lightning Storm, the Spawn Trap. Obviously not monsters because it's in defense. Summon Rat, use the effect. 
and he's gonna VFD. You have to wait till they summon a monster, or you can lose that to Imperm or Gamma. He's gonna send combo, and then he's just gonna throw a whole bunch of zoos on top of this. This deck actually doesn't like completely lose to VFD because it can just dry to next turn. Um, but end of main phase is gonna get hit with Nib. He's probably going to just admit defeat here. Um, there's nothing much he can do. He can't summon Zeus, obviously, because he can't attack. Because VFD doesn't just negate effects. It also makes a 7 they can't attack. If it wasn't already broken enough. So summon out Nib. It doesn't even matter because he, he can, uh, he's going to be able to, like, cycle through everything. Like, he has the spell engrave already. He has the trap engrave. He has so many different things he can do. Uh, draws talons. The living fossil is cool. Um, like living fossil, Panadissimo, reborn, barrage. Um, like Panadissimo isn't an extender, but it can keep your monsters alive. The other ones are all like extenders that you can play in the deck. Uh, you need something to keep your guys alive. Also, against Zodiac Tri Brigade. Um, the normal end board they make just can't beat a Dark Hole or a Geki. Like, if you just Dark Hole them, they go from, like, Wind Statue, Dryden, with the Link on board that can, like, banish or something like that. Or destroy, I forget which one it does. And you can just, like, Dark Hole or a Geki and out of. But hopefully there's a board that they make that, that sets up, like, an actual negate. Because that was just the board that I've been seeing. Um, he's going to use combo on all the extra deck monsters. And then draws reborn. Holy, he needed a hand trap. e -tally. Bring out Nyan. And then Rui effect. He's going to send capital. And he's going to get to add the trap. He's going to use uh, Quinglong to add. And then get rid of Lolo. He already has another... And then go in the Coral Dragon, summon out uh, Shishi. He's gonna get Princess to summon itself out. And then Coral Dragon, get rid of Talents, pop the token, go in the Zanzan, Coral, draw Rui. Or Rui. Like, their names are so difficult. It's not even just me. Like, I, I don't know. Like, these names are really difficult. He's gonna use the Trap, make Fox level 6. And then make Cloud Castle. He's going to get Princess to put back. And Cloud to bring back. And then Lolo. Send the spell. Summon itself out. And then summon back out from the Grave Lin Lin. And then Overlay and the Photon Strike Bouncer. This card is crazy. This card is like the old Appalooza. Like uh, this card says. Once returned during an early player's turn. When a monster effect is activated on your opponent's side of the field. You can attach one XYZ material from this card, negate the effect, and deal a thousand damage to your opponent. So, like, has to be on field once per turn. Doesn't even destroy, but burns for a thousand. This is like old Yu-Gi-Oh! negates. Attack for 3,000, 28, and then 27. That's going to be game. And this next card was Gamma. Yeah, no nothing much you can do about that. Um, we'll see how long the match was. Hey, it was like pretty much 40 minutes long. That's not bad. So they would have been almost in time. Uh, this card is getting time. Burn for a thousand. Uh, this deck's really cool. It seems to be really, really consistent. I haven't seen anyone brick with it yet. Uh, well, anyone good brick with it yet. Uh, the Zan Zan also seems really cool. Like, the longer the game goes, like, the more free stuff you have. The deck never really, like, runs out of stuff either, it seems like. It might have just been this match, but you didn't really run out of anything. But that's going to be it for the video. Um, oh, wait, before I sign off, Zeus is a really, really good card. Like, holy, some people are, like, overhyping it, some people are underhyping it. It's just a really, really good generic XYZ. That's definitely going to see play throughout the times. Like, you're, you're going to see it, like, throughout the formats in the future for sure. And hopefully we see it at the PPG this weekend. 
Lazoo. That'd be really cool. But this video is going up. I'm not sure. I'm kind of recording this on the Friday. So I, I guess I'll decide when this gets posted. But uh, that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.